Virtually nothing has changed on a day-to-day -day level on the International Space Station. The crew still meets on weekends to eat together at Unity, the US liaison node. It's a ritual that's been gradually cultivated because most of the time the crew members are separated into two different sections on the space station. The astronauts work primarily in the US segment, located at the front of the ISS, in the direction of flight. The cosmonauts, meanwhile, are responsible for the Russian segment behind them. The space station is built in such a way that everyone involved has to work together. Because of the division of labor, they depend on each other. Research is carried out in the three laboratories in the US segment. NASA's giant solar wings power the entire station, including the Russian modules. In addition, NASA provides the data to keep the station on course, as well as communications round the clock. Russia provides and controls all the thrusters for the ISS. They come into play when the space station has to dodge space debris and during course corrections. Every day, the ISS falls by up to 100 meters. The station is then always brought back up to the right altitude with propulsion from the Russian Progress freighters. Each crew trains for two years for their mission. Astronauts and cosmonauts often meet again later as friends on the space station. In October, a Russian member of the Expedition 68 crew flew to the station on the US Dragon capsule while her NASA colleague took off in a Russian Soyuz. More so-called crossover flights like this are planned through 2024. It's a sign of détente. For now, we are working on extending the operation on the ISS. We don't know for how long yet past 2024, but until 2024, the work will continue nominally and in accordance with the international agreements. The Russians are developing their own station, but until it's ready, they want to work on the ISS so that they can maintain their capabilities in manned spaceflight. And in 2031, the ISS is scheduled to make a controlled crash into the Pacific Ocean. <laughs>